Okay, so for our second example here, I want to look at an AM Series 2 and using a ground speed based traction control limiter. This is going to be called a three step in the AEM Series 2 system. So if we look at the table here, we can see that it's going to be based on gear, and then it's also going to be based on vehicle speed. And the values in the table are going to be our theoretical engine, maximum engine RPM that we want to have for that particular speed that we're looking at. Now this is going to be based on a ground speed, so we don't want to use our driven speed or our vehicle speed sensor that we're going to have off of our driven wheel because that's going to uh, not allow us to really uh, characterize the maximum acceleration rate using a table like this. So we want to use the undriven wheel. So if we're on a front wheel drive car, we'd use the rear wheel. If we're on a rear wheel drive car, we'd use the front wheel. So we'd have to wire in a speed sensor from that wheel into the EMS system so that we could measure that undriven wheel. So in a front wheel drive car, if the front wheels are spinning, uh, the back wheel is going to report the actual vehicle speed independent of whatever the wheel's being overdriven. So we can use ground speed very accurately to help us characterize the acceleration rate of the vehicle. So using a table like this, we would go and we'd make a bunch of passes down the drag strip and figure out whatever is going to have the best run of the, uh, all the passes that we made. And then we look at per gear and the ground speed that we've collected and then look at the engine RPM. So if we found that we had a particular uh, gear, such as first gear, which is gonna be really our traction limited on a front wheel drive car or on a real drive car, we're gonna look at where we have our ground speed versus our engine RPM. So if we had uh, a 1.5 or 1.360 foot, and that was our best of any of our runs, we'd look at our ground speed, we'd look at our engine RPM, and then we'd go ahead and populate these tables with that data.